So around six months ago I actually did a review for that uh, Chili 2.0 and I actually just realized that if you take the red color out of that Chili 2.0, you're gonna have the today's pair. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also give me a like it really help out the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm going to review in the next few days in today's video guys we're going to have a look at one of the latest color combinations available for a pair of air max one so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in one of the regular boxes in this red color which will have on top this big nike lettering and also the nike swoosh in this white color so let's go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a very simple colorway for the air max one in this white black and pure platinum colorway In case you are a regular to the channel guys, you've probably seen most of my reviews for this Air Max 1 range and for sure being so many sometimes you just forget that uh, some of them are actually quite uh, close in the color combinations. As I said at the start of the video, this one is very close to the Chili 2.0 which dropped uh, somewhere around mid of 2023. But if you think about it, if you just take those uh, red elements out of that pair of shoes, you're gonna end up with uh, this one, which dropped at least uh, here in the UK somewhere around the end of uh, 2023 for the same retail price of £145, which will be the same price for most of these uh, general releases. And as this one being a general release, uh, we're gonna have your uh, normal or I would say average materials, which for this one will be your usual mesh material, which on top will have some synthetic materials, which this time will be this uh, felt material in this black and gray colorway. But I would say that for a general release, uh, this one is actually quite decent, but given the price, uh, don't expect too much. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys. So as you can see for this upper we're gonna have just uh, two materials. One of it will be this uh, base layer which will be this uh, white mesh material which is actually quite thick. And on top of this one we're gonna have a few overlays. One of it will be this uh, felt material in this uh, black color which will cover the front part of the tobo section. It will also act as a mudguard on the lateral side and it will also cover the whole heel section as well. And of course this one also sit uh, here in the midfoot for both sides for these Nike sushes. So besides this uh, black felt material we're also gonna have it in this uh, grey felt material as well which will be present here in the midfoot for the actual lacing system and also covering the whole heel section and slightly just above it where here at the back we'll also have the Nike lettering and also the Nike swoosh embroidered in this black color. As in for the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which here at the top will have your normal uh, rubberized ones. So the actual laces will be these uh, flat white ones and just underneath these laces we're gonna have this uh, nylon material for this tongue which here at the top will have this uh, white tag which will have written on top uh, Nike Air Max and also the Nike swoosh in this black color. As I said earlier, in the midfoot we're gonna have these Nike sushes in this uh, black color, which will be made out of the same uh, felt material. Going now inside of the shoe guys, for this one we're gonna have this uh, black lining, which underneath will have a decent amount of padding, which will keep your foot quite good in place. And as usual at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, foam insole, which will be in this black color. And as usual this one will have these perforation holes here at the front. And also at the heel section we're gonna have the Nike Air and also the Nike Sushi imprinted in this white color. 
So now guys, we can go to this foam midsole in this white color, which will have your normal standard pattern, nothing changed here. And uh, this one also have this exposed bubble here at the heel section, which will actually be the small bubble. As you might know, we also gonna have uh, every now and then the big bubble being released. But in my opinion, I feel that this one is actually looking slightly a bit better. So the actual aerosol unit will come in this off-white colorway, which I would say that it's looking quite good, but nothing special here. So now we can actually finish with this rubber outsole in this black color, which again will have your normal standard pattern, nothing changed here. So this one will include this waffle pattern here at the front. And as usual here at the heel section we're gonna have this big air lettering and just uh, before it we're gonna have the small Nike lettering and also the Nike swoosh. As in for the actual sizing guys for me as I have a skinny fit for all of these releases for this Air Max 1 I'm always going with a half size down. So for me as I have a skinny fit this one fits me just fine but I would say that if you have normal fit guys you can just stick with your true to size and just in case you have wide fit most definitely I would suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this front part of the shoe which is actually a bit pointy is not gonna be too tight for you. So overall guys this latest release coming from Nike for this Air Max one in this white black and pure platinum colorway. As it's gonna be a general release, it will bring your normal uh, materials, which this time will be this uh, mesh, which on top will have this felt material for these overlays. So in my opinion, I don't actually enjoy these materials at all, but I would say that for general releases, this is something which we've been getting for the last couple of years. But in my opinion, I really feel that if you want to have something a bit more, I would say premium, you should actually just pay like 10, 15 pounds to get something a bit, uh, more interesting with some leather or some no back or even suede at this point we actually have so many options available for the air max one on the market as you might know last year uh, nike was celebrating 35 uh, years on the market for this air max one range and we actually got uh, so many releases but of course you can always go for these ones which every now and then they are also going on sale so you can buy them for around 100 pounds mark which i would say it's a decent price but don't get me wrong even this general release uh, it's looking quite good so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of these latest color combinations available for this nike air max one which for today we had it in this black white and pure platinum colorway I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching